every homemaker has her own kitchen secrets. And this video will give you some new life hacks and make your stay in the kitchen much more pleasant and comfortable. Let's start with a coconut, which is not so easy to open. Take a screwdriver and a hammer. Find the three eyes on one side. Make holes in those spots with a screwdriver, since the skin is thinner there. Pour out the coconut milk. Now take the hammer and knock it in the middle of the coconut. Right in front of your eyes, the shell will crack exactly in the center. Break the coconut open. Mission accomplished! Drink some coconut milk and enjoy delicious tender coconut flesh. The taste of paradise! Everybody's tried to peel a kiwi and ended up removing half of its flesh along with the peel. What a waste of vitamins! Take a kiwi, a knife, and a spoon. Cut off the ends of the fruit. Insert the spoon under the peel and start to turn it gently. Remove the peel at once. Done! Now, not a single vitamin is wasted. Mmm! I love fruit! And the next life hack is for mangoes. Cut it in half. Gently, without cutting through the peel, make a grid on the pulp with a knife. Turn the peel inside out and get a neat cubist cutting. It's table ready! Just serve! The next life hack will help solve the problem of peeling a pomegranate. Take a sharp knife and make four cuts in the area of the tail. Carefully separate it. Make cuts on the edges of the pomegranate. Easily open the fruit. Fast, easy, and no juice spraying all over the kitchen. Now take a ginger root and a spoon. Scrape the ginger peel off with the spoon. Use a sharp knife to cut the ready-to-eat root into slices. Don't you want some ginger tea? Now let's take a couple of different varieties of cottage cheese and check them for quality. Take iodine and a pipette. Drip the iodine drop by drop onto the surface of the cottage cheese. If it turned black, there's a lot of starch in it, and it's poor quality. In a good product, iodine should not change color. Easy choice! For the next life hack, take a white plate and writing icing pens. Draw a pattern you want in the center of the plate. Take a couple of triangular pieces of farmer's cheese and place them on the dish. Pour caramel all over them. Fasten an M&M on each of them. It will be the nose. Draw eyes. Make deer horns from sweet breadsticks. Sprinkle the plate with crumbs. A great idea for a healthy holiday dessert. For the next life hack, take a white plate and a chocolate bar. With a burning match, melt the chocolate bar from one edge. Draw chocolate stripes on the plate. Now take a marshmallow stick and cut it in half. Lay it out on the plate. Add pomegranate seeds along the edges of the composition. Put a pastry in the center. It turned out more beautiful than in a restaurant. Yummy! And now take a white plate, a fork with a spoon, and chocolate powder. Lay the cutlery out on the dish. Sprinkle it all over with powder through a strainer. Pick the fork and spoon up and place the dessert next to the remaining prints on the plate. This serving could amaze the best confectioners of the world! For this life hack, take a white dish and a writing icing pen. Make a drawing on the plate. Place some farmer's cheese in the center. Take a few Oreo cookies and crumble them. Sprinkle the farmer's cheese with the Oreo crumbs. Lay out a sliced kiwi on top. Mmm! It looks delicious! For the next life hack, take a sealed pack of cheese. With a big, sharp knife, cut a piece from the pack together with the packaging. Cut the cheese 
and the empty piece of the package will serve as a cover to close the cutoff place. It's such a convenient packaging method, don't you think? These bananas are so delicate. They are so quick to turn spotty and go bad. To fix the situation, take a piece of foil. Wrap the fruit in it. Wow! So much time has passed, but the banana in the foil is still as yellow and appetizing. Too many bitter tears get spilled over onions. It's time to stop this mess. Take some mint chewing gum and a bowl of clean water. Put a couple pieces of chewing gum in your mouth and dip the knife in water and start cutting. Wow! The onion is getting cut and there's not a tear in your eyes. Miraculous! Don't know how, but it works! You've got too many knives, but all of them are not sharp enough. Take a tile and pass the cutting edge on its back several times. And now take a matchbox and sharpen small knives in the same way. Done! Now the main thing is to be careful and not cut yourself. You only have whole bean coffee at home and your coffee grinder isn't working? No worries! Take a Ziploc bag and a rolling pin. Pour the coffee into the bag. Zip it shut. Knead the beans with a rolling pin, pressing it down. Pour the ground coffee in a bowl and make your favorite drink. Eggs rolling around on a fridge shelf is unacceptable. Take paper cups. Cut a couple of centimeters from the bottom with a box cutter. Connect the cells together with a stapler. You get a comfortable stand for the eggs. No more mess in the fridge. This clove of garlic is trying to escape, but we have an idea. To cut it quickly and without injury, turn the knife. Carefully press the clove with it. Crushed garlic is very easy to cut into small pieces. One less problem in the kitchen. Sweet! Now take a chicken fillet and chop it. Take a hammer and a fork. Join them together with tape. Gently tenderize the meat with your new tool. Mmm! Someone's going to get some delicious chicken! A mixer in one hand, a cookbook in the other. I guess I need a couple more hands. Here's an idea. Take a long rope. Bind it to the handle of the mixer. Suspend the device on the rope to the handle of the cupboard. Lower the beaters into the bowl and turn the mixer on. The device works! The ingredients are whipped and the hands are completely free. That's amazing! Not every homemaker has a talent for beautifully cutting eggs. To save the situation, take a plastic lid. Cut out the inside of it and leave only the ring of the side wall. Take a needle and a fishing line. With the help of pliers, sew a grid in the ring. Stretch the line well. Take the salad bowl and try the device. Press the egg to the grid and get uniform cuts. It seems like you got a new favorite kitchen helper. Do your knives not have a place in your kitchen? Take a tin can and wooden sticks. Tightly fill the jar with sticks. A stand for knives is ready. Arrange your knives and let them get used to their new home. For the next life hack, take ketchup and ice molds. Carefully distribute the product in the cells. Put the molds in the freezer. At the right time, get the iced ketchup out and add it to the dishes. Still tasty, but so much more convenient. Oops! I poured too much vegetable oil in the pan again. Let's try to solve the problem by taking a sprayer. Put it on the bottle. Spray the right amount of oil in the pan and don't spill a single extra drop. Did you like our kitchen life hacks? Which of them will you try out? Hurry up and write in the comments! 
subscribe to our channel and click on the bell. Like this video and share it with your friends.